atomizer is something that forms very 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 small particles here we are forming very small particles of what oil droplet okay now normally there is only gravitational force so what is going to happen to the oil droplets the oil droplet is here there is a small hole out here what is going to happen to the oil droplet it is going to pass through and fall down okay this is due to which force gravitational force gravitational force but now now what i am doing is i am applying you know high beam out here in the gas out here so the gas gets ionized and it releases electrons now what happens is the electrons stick to the electrons stick to the oil droplet ab maine ek plate yahan pe positive charge kar diya ek plate negative charge kar diya aur beech mein ye jo oil droplet hai usme thode se charges hai initially the gravitational force is the only force so it keeps on falling down with a certain speed then as soon as the oil droplet gets charged aur yahan pe positive or negative hoga there is an attraction out here so the speed is going to decrease the speed is going to decrease kyun kyunki upar ki taraf pull ho raha hai gravity niche pull kar raha hai but the anode is pulling it upwards when the charges out here becomes equal the gravitational force becomes equals to the electrostatic force the oil drop would be stuck in a place it is not going to go anywhere meaning the speed will become zero it will be hanging in air out there and when the electrostatic force becomes greater than the gravitational force you will see the oil droplet instead of going down it will start going upwards it will start going where okay. upwards okay so in mulliken's oil drop model he actually calculated ki har oil drop pe kitna charge tha and he found out that it was always a multiple of 1.6 into 10 raised to the power of minus 19 coulomb so then he came to the conclusion that ek electron ka charge is always 1.6 into 10 raised to the power of minus 19 coulombs so let's look at this one okay and see what happened in the experiment so play and it's coming 1 2 3 Why does it take so much a lot of time to load? Dum 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 dum. Okay, today I did not load it before and keep it, so it it would take some time. Okay, so let's lo let's see. Let's give it thirty seconds for loading. In a series of experiments carried out between 1908 and 1917, R. A. Millikan succeeded in measuring the charge of the electron with great precision. In his experiment, a fine mist of oil was sprayed into the upper chamber with an atomizer. Some of the tiny oil droplets fell through the hole in the upper floor, and Millikan was able to determine the mass of an oil drop from its terminal velocity. Next, Millikan used an X-ray source to ionize gas molecules in the chamber. Electrons from this ionization process adhered to the oil droplets. The oil droplets now carry a negative charge. The negatively charged oil droplets can be halted by adjusting the voltage across the two plates. As the voltage across the plates is increased, the velocity of the oil drops slows. As the voltage is increased further, some drops will begin to move upward toward the positive plate. If the voltage is set just right, an oil drop can be suspended. When an oil drop is suspended, its weight, mass times acceleration due to gravity, is exactly counterbalanced by the electric force applied. The electric force applied equals the applied electric field E times the charge on the drop Q. Since the mass of the oil drop, the acceleration due to gravity, and the applied electric field are known, Millikan could solve for Q, which is the charge on the drop. Millikan found that droplets had different charges, but each was a whole number multiple of a smaller charge, equal to negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. 
Millikan concluded that this was the fundamental unit of charge, the charge of an electron. From the charge of an electron and the charge to mass ratio of an electron determined by Thomson using a cathode ray tube, Millikan was able to calculate the mass of an electron. The mass of an electron, 9.10 times 10 to the negative 28th grams, is an exceedingly small mass.